If you add just under the create, which is a very good software to draw on both mobile and iPad, but you don't know how to use it, then you're in the right place because this is an easy tutorial on how you do the basic app in Procreate. Personally, when I got this app, I wish I had a girl like this, so I really hope it um, can help you understand the software better. Okay, so when you open Procreate, it's going to look something like this. Of course, I have a lot of drawings, so it's gonna look different for you, but, but yeah, so the way you make new, yeah, you will have some um, drawings when you start, like these ones, so you can, like, select them, and you can delete, you can duplicate, you can share, you can preview the stack, and then there's a photo function, and then you can, if I just want to add this photo, then you will have a document with only that photo, then you create a paper like that, and then here is the way you add um, papers, of course I've added a lot of them before, but yeah, you can just see a distance of this, 11.85, and if you add that, it's going to look like this, but if you want to add a new one, you can do this, and then you can, there you can take like width and height, and then they will calculate how many maximum layers you can have. So yeah, if you go into this one, then here we have the brushes, so you can like use all of these brushes to draw, like for example, <laughs> this one, and um, you can change the size here, and you can change the past here so you can like mix it barely shows and yeah so if this one you can really just mix it it's kind of like it's kind of like if you have crayons and you actually use your finger so it's going to be like this and then you can use some brushes on that too actually and then you can just mix it so just to see what with crayons and then the color wheel is here a basic color view here and then you can like choose the colors and stuff like that if you want to choose the color of an already existing photo or whatever you other just hold it in and it will show so here you can we go into palettes you can see a lot of different palettes here and the value you can change that harmony i haven't used this a lot but it's probably to make like good colors or something yeah it's to make good uh, color combos that'd be cool and then you can undo by tapping this button and yeah so here's the eraser you can also choose a lot of different brushes on the eraser here is the layer function so if i would like to add another layer then i can just tap the plus sign and then i can also hide this layer if i want to and then if you merge down it's kind of like deleting but yeah it's not really a deleting function here um, and there's clear copy all of these functions So here is the way you move what you are drawn in a layer. So for example here, I can change it around like this and I can rotate it like this. And I can flip it and yeah, do a lot of different stuff. And here you have, if you have copied something, like for example, I copy this one. I can do this, copy and paste. Now a lot of copies in this one. Now I can like have multiple, um, multiple uh, things like this. And then freehand. Yeah, there's a lot of different things there you can. Yeah, you can also like um, cut out a special part you want to copy or anything like that and then here it's like different kinds of blurs and stuff like that so if we go here for example yellows and blur if i take that in it will like be more and more blurred depending on how much i drag it and then here you can insert a file insert a photo take a photo add text cut copy yeah, a lot of different functions and if you add text like this if i just say hello then you can select that and then you can change the color of it you you can you can change the fonts you can change the size which any basic software would let you do but um but yeah play around with this and how you write how we write again on it when you have gone out of it is that you select the layer and type edit text and then you can like do a lot of stuff in it. also there is a video function so if you take time lapse replay you can see a time lapse of everything you have done here it could be kind of cool if you are drawing a lot of different stuff and yeah, I think that's, that's most of the things you need to know to, to draw on this app. Um, I, think, I thought it was very complicated when I started, but if you have any kind of value from this video and finally learned how to use this software, then make sure to go support it. I was really just about to go straight to the point like, like and subscribe. And yeah, but that was the thing I'm going to say. The thing I'm going to say is that like the video, then show support. The best zero way you can show support is by liking and subscribing. And yeah, maybe share this video to a friend who also want to learn how to use the software. Take care.